Hey everybody, I'm RVA Hiker Girl. Let's talk about hip camps today. Just working on my dinner tonight. Anyway, I wanted to share with you guys what exactly is hip camp. I wanted to tell you all about their website, how to navigate and find campsites that you're looking for. Uh, then I wanted to throw in some of the footage of all of the hip camps that I have stayed at because I've stayed at a lot over the years. And of course, tonight I'm staying at a hip camp. So I'm going to take you around this hip camp, show you the view that I have that's right over here that is spectacular. And at the end of this video, I'm going to tell you all about, if you're interested, how to save $10 off your first stay with Hip Camp. What the heck is Hip Camp? If you have never heard of Hip Camp before, what it is, is it's a company that takes landowners, such as the farm that I'm on right now, and it pairs it up with campers like myself. And so what it does is it allows landowners to make some income on their property in unique locations in every state in the United States. All 50 states have Hip Camps. And yeah, it's just a great alternative to some of the other places that you might camp. They are all unique, every single one of them. There's not gonna be two hip camps that you stay in that are alike. Where are the hip camps? Okay, the hip camps are everywhere around the United States. They are in the mountains where I am now. They can be down by the beach the river, the lake, they can be by state and national parks. They are everywhere, which is why this website, hipcamp.com, is so amazing. This website has saved me so many times when I've gone to go on trips and I couldn't find a place to stay. So I get on the website, hipcamp.com, and I start searching my location and the dates that I want, and up pops a bunch of listings. You could put a little heart next to the ones that look interesting, interesting to you. And you can come back later or you can scroll and click on them. They have pictures, they have reviews. And for sure, if you were scrolling down that website, look at the pictures, look at the reviews. The reviews say more than what the pictures do sometimes. Sometimes they may say, hey, you're right next to a busy road or man, the pictures don't do this justice. There's really invaluable information in those reviews. And the reviewers also leave additional pictures sometimes that kind of give a different look than maybe what the landowners are trying to show you. Let's take a look at some of the hip camps that I have stayed in, in the state of Virginia and in Maryland to give you an example of what you can expect when you're looking for a hip camp.
So once you book your hit camp, the owner will send you the address so you know exactly where your hip camp is and then basically you start planning for your trip. Now, all of them are different. Some of them have facilities, some of them do not. Some of them have water, others don't. Um, some of them are very primitive. So be ready to have your own water and all of your own supplies. Um, gosh, sometimes they are very, very remote. You're gonna be the only person around. At my hip camp that I'm at right now, I am the only person here. That is the beauty of hip camps. I would say about half of the hip camps I have stayed at, no one else has been there. And if you don't like crowds, which I don't, man, is this a great alternative. All right, it's time to show you the hip camp that I am at today. Actually, right over my shoulder is actually site one of this particular hip camp. The picnic table is right back there and there's a fire pit. And the only other campsite here is the one that I'm staying at. Let's go take a look at it. Another thing that I did read in the reviews for this campsite is the road noise. Can you hear that? Interstate 81 is not very far from here. That's a main thoroughfare that goes from uh, north to south in Virginia and it's a lot of trucks. Um, the wind is helping to drown out some of that, but I really don't mind it, but just be aware with your hip camp locations to know where your location is and don't be surprised if you have road noise or interstate noise. I love this hip camp. The mountain views down in the valley, the cows, I mean, it's just beautiful here. I'm in the shade, there's a breeze. I haven't seen a soul since I've been here. Sometimes you might see a host, sometimes you won't. I'm okay with not seeing a host. It's just a gorgeous piece of land that I would have never got to experience if I wouldn't have checked out the Hip Camp website. The breeze is great for cooling you down on a warm summer afternoon like today. It's not great for audio, so hopefully my audio is okay. But anyway, I am very happy with this hip camp. I will leave you the link below in case you're interested in this particular one. This one is around the Harrisonburg um, area of Virginia out in the Appalachian Mountains, the Blue Ridge Mountains, which you can see back there in the distance. Yes, I am enjoying a La Marita at my hip camp because why not? It is absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, back to hip camp. <laughs> I'm relaxing, right? Anyway, when you book your hip camp, communication with your host, I think is pretty important. When you first book, your host will email you a specific set of directions. Sometimes you have a gate that you need to go through. Sometimes there is a lock code. Um, sometimes there are special instructions with where you need to go once you get on the property. So they usually send a text to you right away. And then that way, while you're on property, you can just respond back to that text to communicate back and forth with them. Because as just like today, I have not seen the host or the landowner, which is perfectly fine with me. I don't need to see them. Um, but if you did need something in the middle of the night or something was going on with the property that you needed to contact them, you will have that number. Um, anyway, 
Yeah, once you complete your stay and you get home, go on, um, they usually send you an email. Go and click on that email and leave a review for the property. Why I think that is so important to do. Number one, it gives the landowner feedback with, hey, they're doing a great job, or hey, maybe you need to mark your campsites because they're not marked, or it would be nice if you did this, or what have you. And people tell you really important information that you might not find in the landowner's description of the property. I find the reviews and what people say invaluable, and that helps me choose which campsites and which hip camps I am going to stay at. Like right now, I'm at campsite number two. Campsite number one is across this big open meadow. I chose two from looking at the reviews that the people left, um, the uh, former campers, and that's how I made my choice with which one. Anyway, finally, the last part of this video is, if you want to book a hip camp, I can save you $10 on your first stay. The link is gonna be down below. It's a coupon code that's Jacqueline, my first name, and some numbers after that. So when you go to book your hip camp, just type in that code and it will save you $10. Check out hip camp, guys. It is an adventure, like every time you go. So I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna go hike tomorrow and this set me up in the perfect location to camp here, get up early, and go on my hike. If you have any questions about hip camp, if you stayed in a hip camp, you have any other recommendations for the viewers who are commenting and reading the comments below, please leave a comment. I always want my comment area to be like a discussion board so people can get valuable information um, from the other people like who are watching the videos that have maybe more experience than maybe what I do uh, when it comes to hip camps. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I am going to kick back and enjoy my hip camp. Cheers, everybody.